on board with Team Galati. I'm your host, Maria Galati Hill, and I have the incredible opportunity to sit down with the man, the myth, the legend, Mr. Pat Healy, President and CEO of Viking Yacht Company. Mr. Healy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for all those kind words, and uh, I, I hope someday to be all of what you just said. Oh my gosh, you know we're, we're huge fans of you, so. <laughs> but let's kick it off. You know, we want to get started with, um, if you take it back to, the, to 96, the Viking and Galati relationship. One of my favorite things about our relationship is how similar we are in so many aspects. Family owned, family operated, a multi-generational business. You know, those, those key points, and I would say the biggest being always putting our customers first. I think that's something that's driven us both from our core. So can you harp a little bit more on our relationship from the beginning? Sure, it's uh, Carmine and I go back, who was the first Galati that I really worked with back in the 90s. And that was because of propeller uh, issues with different boats with Vikings. And Carmine was, uh, you know, he was big into the service before Mike got really got involved. Well, Mike was involved in the service, but it was both Mike and Carmine. And they each had their own responsibilities. And Carmine's main responsibility was uh, handling the propellers. And, uh, and he would call about, oh, well, I think we could add a little pitch to this wheel, maybe change the cup and do this and get better performance for the customers. And then, of course, Carl Flammer was our dealer at the time. The Galati family did a lot of the warranty work for the Flammers while they were our dealer. And Carl eventually said, hey, you know, the recession came along in 91, 90 and said, you know, we... He worked his way out, and and of course the logical, very very logical, and his suggestion was to go with the Galatis, and that was a two second decision. Yes, that's where we're going with the Galatis, and um, and that's where the chapter started. Um, and then of course Carmine and and Joe and Mike and 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 Mrs. Galati, she's a doll, and. Um, you know, meeting all of those and Jane, everybody together, that whole family, it was, it was, it was just one, it was just in another extension of the Viking family. The Galatis did an, have done an incredible job in the structure that they have within their organization is phenomenal from the sales and service, marketing, the facilities, the, the, their, their brokers, their salesmen, everybody, the training that they have, just the professionalism is the best that there is. That means the absolute world to us. Thank you so much. And I know it's such an honor being a dealer for you because I remember hearing the story of our very first Viking yacht that we took delivery of. And it just lights up our eyes when they talk about it. And still to this day, you know, the relationship that we have with you guys and visiting your factory and your facility and training our brokers to become specialists in the models and the design and every aspect of it is something that we pride ourselves on and also are completely honored to be a part of. So. Well, the greatest thing, we've pushed each other to greater heights to do a better job for our customers, to give them better service, give them a, a better experience at something that has to be fun for them. If it's not fun for them, then we lose them to something else in their leisure time. And, you know, people don't need boats. They don't have to have a boat. They have to have a car. They have to have a house. We're in the business of selling people something they don't have to have. So it's very, very, very important that we do it that way. I completely agree. And so let's take it back a little bit. I just, I'm dying to hear, and I'm sure some of our viewers are as well, some of the stories that you have from growing up working around the factory as a kid. Well, I started, my father would work six days a week and he took me to work on Saturday my entire younger years. I had nothing to say about it. I just got woken up, thrown in a car, and driven 35 minutes to the Viking Yacht Company one during the winter months. And then in the summer months, uh, I would come here and work in New Gretna all summer, out, uh, you know, during my 
early days and, and I enjoyed it. I didn't know anything else. I, I thought that's what you did. So I, I enjoyed it and, um, and met a lot of people, created some new language I learned and uh, a few other things working with the guys out on the production line, but it was, uh, it was all good. I loved fiberglass. I was a surfer in my younger days. So uh, I took a lot of liking to, to fiberglass because I would repair my dings for my own board and, and all my buddies' boards. You know, we would set up shop, bring some glass home, some resin home. And, you know, in the first one I did, of course, we didn't put any paper down, but that's before I really worked here. Uh, we we're fixing them. And of course, we got it all over the, the garage floor. The resin dripped. And of course, my father came home and woo wee, he was not happy. And I got a strong talking to very strongly. And um, so then I learned I got to put protective paper down. And um, so I enjoyed it all. That's amazing. And, you know, hearing you talk about your memories growing up at the factory just reminds me so much of my dad, Joe Galati, and my Uncle Carmine, and Uncle Mike, Uncle Chris, all of them, Aunt Fran, you know, all that they did around the marina to build themselves up to where they are today. You know, you have to do those little things to really learn the every aspect of it. So that's, that's incredible. So we'll go on to talk about, you know, just a little bit about the evolution of the Viking line. And an evolution is the perfect word because the design, the implementation that you put forth into every model, building a boat every single day, you know, there's so much that went into that. And when you look at them early 2000s and now, can you tell me a little bit about that process and how they evolved? Well, we've all been always designed as a team. My father, Bruce Wilson, uh, myself, David Wilson, uh, Drew McDowell, and Don Gamel in the very beginning would get it. They, they were the guys running the boats and, and they would be feeding us back information. Uh, Bruce and my father had last say, and you know, it was kind of like we all started butting heads. And you know, it was, and you know, he was a strong Irishman and he is a strong Irishman, and he wanted to do it his way and of course I wanted to do it my way and my uncle would come down and get us both in separate rooms and then put us back in the same room together to to get us all on the same page and uh, but we all agreed that um, my father and Bruce did the 72 that was their last project and that uh, it was something that I was working on the 55 with the next group of uh, and that was David Bruce's son and myself, and of course, both uh, my father and Bruce were involved, but we kind of had the final say. And, uh, and that was the start of the new team that's still together. And Lonnie Rutt was very much involved in that. Lonnie is our vice president of design and engineering, and he's done an incredible job. So we've all been together since that, you know, 1995, 96 is when that all started. The boat came out. And, uh, it was a model year 97, so it, it, it delivered in November, uh, October of 1996 for the Lauderdale Boat Show. And, and then it's been, it's just been an incredible ride since then. You know, it's hard to believe it's 23 years ago, 24 years ago that this has happened. And I don't know, probably 30 new models since then. And, uh, and the success of all of those models, which is phenomenal that, uh, you know, I don't think there's another company in this industry that can point to over the last 23 years the success of developing and introducing new models and each one being better than the next one. And that's a, you know, that's one of our sayings is to build a better boat every day. And that includes designing a boat every day. That's what we do. We design boats. We, we, we come with the new innovations let's back in 96 and 97 a lot of the things that we brought on were being done in the custom boats but they were time consuming so what we were able to do is streamline those manufacturing processes to get all of those features into a production boat that was a key back then a big is to streamline all of those things where you didn't it didn't add single lever controls, extended overhangs, refrigerated fish boxes, uh, in-step uh, refrigerated boxes, all the things that other 
the custom guys had because th they had an open checkbook from a, a buyer and they had years to build the boat. We had to build the boat in four months. So five months, six months on, you know, a, a 74. Um, so we were able to streamline all of those items and get them into, and now every manufacturer in the production side is doing it. And, and, and a lot of the, the, the custom guys are taking their leads from the Viking Yacht Company today. And that's one of the things we're, we're very proud of. We set the trend in this industry. Yep, you guys have always been innovators. And as we say, leaders in the industry, by all means. And you know the way I see it too. And each new model is just an indication of the su success that your company has. And those new models are just symbolic of that. And I think that's so much to say when you look back at all of the different models that you guys have achieved over the years. It's incredible. Absolutely. So, hey, we love it. Wouldn't know what else to be. We're a boat builder. Don't have any other uh, skills to do anything else other than build boats. That's amazing. You perfect one thing, you know. I love it. And something I wanted to harp Absolutely. on a little bit was your team. You mentioned them briefly, but I think it's so incredible that you have your engineering team as your fishing team. You have them battle testing those models and you have them checking and being on the front at the front line checking to see all of the different aspects that you have working making sure it's perfect for the customer I just think that's incredible well I, I'll give you an example uh, Friday and Saturday we fished a tournament here at the Stone Harbor Yacht Club tournament Lonnie Rutt is a member of the club I'm not and we had a great two days of fishing and and Lonnie it was great like yesterday, I get a uh, an email from him on a Sunday afternoon on a half a dozen eight things that we discussed during the day when the we were riding home or out there fishing, and he's feeding me all this information and he's telling me he's got he's going to have his team assembled on Monday morning and and please come back when I get in and he wants to sit down and we want to discuss these things of how to build a better boat. And, and, and uh, Lorian Higgins, Mark Waldron, John Kaczynski on the financial side, Mike Samuels down at, at the Viking Service Center, Drew McDowell at PBT, Don Gamel at the Viking Service Center. Um, you know, you, you hate mentioning names because there's 1,500 of us. And uh, the, the group of people here that do this is incredible. Drew DeValla that of course heads up our HR and let my goodness, as his job turned to be a different job over these last four or five months with the COVID. I mean, he and his, you know, he has the medical group under him and they're keeping all of us boat builders healthy and, and their families healthy so that we all can continue, which we do every day is build boats. We love it and wouldn't know what else to do if we didn't do that. That's incredible. You know, you, your team has always put the employee very ahead in first. You know, you're always taking care of your family and that is the whole Viking Yacht Factory crew and every employee you have. But something else that you've done that I just wanted to mention because I think it's incredible is you 3D printed and designed masks and distributed over a thousand to your local first responders. That's wonderful to hear. Yeah, we, not only did we do that, Right in the beginning, before it was in vogue to do it, um, we have a local uh, hospital, Shore Medical Center, that we're very involved in. in uh, and I sent them a 1,000 M95 masks with 100 Tyvek suits, hoods, and booties. Right, that was the second week of March before it became a thing to do. And what we tried to do is take all of the hospitals and all the medical centers that served our boat builders and wanted to make sure that they were in position to have what they needed because we weren't going to use it. We were, we were going to close, which we did for three weeks. And so we took basically all of what we would have used over that time frame, and we put it out into the community to help everybody. It's amazing which, what you can do for your community. The little bits here and there are what make a difference. Absolutely. Absolutely. 
Awesome. So we're going to change gears here a little bit. And I, I know that you yourself are an avid fisherman, have been forever. And you were the one who introduced my uncle, Carmine, to fishing. And he says that the passion that you had for the sport, the knowledge that came from it, you know, he, he is a huge fisherman today because of you. So I just want to ask you, what are some of your favorite stories behind the reel? Well, I, I mean, fishing with Carmine has been a gas. And, you know, he and I started out fishing with a, a, another great customer of ours, Bob Hickson. And Bob Hickson would invite both of us to go down to the Caribbean and fish in tournaments down there. And then, of course, Bob uh, was one of the first people to arrive at Los Sueños, uh, Bill Royster's wonderful facility. Incredible job what Bill and his team has done and what is done for all of our customers. It's the, the place is phenomenal. So it was very easy to get Carmine hooked. And, uh, you know, he heard a lot of the stories of us going around and and then his first Blue Marlin, I was there, his first sail in the Pacific. I mean, we, we went through all of these first with him, and then he beat me in a tournament. I said, Jesus, in the Masters, I'm trying to get my third, and he gets his first, and I'm like, oh, man, now that I, I did too good of a job here, you know? But it's uh, there's nothing like fishing with your best buddies and your family. It's just phenomenal. And... Uh, he was there when days that we've caught 50 sales in, in Los Suenos to days that we've done very well in, in, in Venezuela, catching blue marlins, uh, white marlins, to with Bob Hickson winning numerous, numerous tournaments. It's just been wonderful all along to watch his growth. And uh, he's a quick study, that boy. He's a quick study, and, and he's done it. And he's a heck of an angler, let me tell you. He's an excellent angler. Jane is an excellent angler. Uh, and, and it's just wonderful to see all that. And that's what the biggest thing is for our customers is to get that experience and, and to get to all the right places where it's done and it's done right so that they can maximize their enjoyment. And that's what Carmine and I are, what we try to do is live the life to get our customers involved to see just great how great this life can be and how these great this great sport that we're in uh how it all works and um it's easy to do it when it's in your heart we both got it bad we carmine and i got a bad case of it so uh and i don't think that'll ever change that's incredible i i love it and i and love let me tell you your uncle your your uncle chris is a heck of a fisherman Oh, Let yeah. me tell you something, uh, with his, his heart, what he does is phenomenal, phenomenal. And, and how he, he calls me, and let me tell you, he was the first Galati that was the fisherman. He was the first Galati that oh, was yes. the fisherman. Oh, yes, he was the original and, and captain, yep. Absolutely. He's loved it since he was a kid. And, you know, I, I love the story that he tells of my uh, grandfather who founded Galati Yacht Sales would give him a boat, make him remodel it as a hobby, and then sell it. <laughs> and then he'd say, okay, do another. Okay, do another. <laughs> and that we were selling boats, so he kept remodeling. But he, he loved it because he got to fish on them. So that's all that mattered to him. <laughs> Absolutely. But that's, that's incredible. I love the, that relationship and it means, it means the world to us. So now we will dive into the incredible news that Valhalla Boatworks released on Monday. We were so excited, counting down, looking at the clock all day Monday morning, waiting to, for the news. And we are so excited for the release. Can you expand a little bit more on it? Absolutely. Well, it, like anything, we have a, a great group of boat builders and the minute that we were done uh the 33 the the 37 and the 41 it's what's next what's next and so and that they all didn't get finished until la we've only delivered two boats in the first quarter last year a 237s and then in the last three quarters of this fiscal year which will close this july 31st we delivered 59 more boats and uh, I'm sorry, 69 more boats. 
and uh, and that's just a phenomenal accomplishment. And and along with doing that, we immediately started last year at the Lauderdale Boat Show uh, with our team sitting down when there was a, a a little bit of a lull one morning and said, "Okay, what's next?" Uh, Michael Peters and Bill Ganner from uh, Michael Peters Yacht Design was in. in uh, for an early morning meeting and we all said okay we 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 looked at the 41 is an incredible boat but to put some of the request of getting a little bit more room in the cabin to put a uh, a standalone head to get a generator in it to get air conditioning to get a little uh kitchen a little galley slash kitchen kitchen in it we all said okay we're gonna have to go bigger and that's when the decision to make was made to go to 45 feet. But during the design process of getting everything in, everybody comes with their ideas. Uh, and then we try to incorporate all those ideas from the team. And uh, it, it became apparent that we needed to grow the boat. So it's 46 feet, seven inches. Uh, it's gonna be powered by quad 450 Mercury's. Um, the performance is gonna be phenomenal, gonna be in the mid 60s. Uh, top end and it's going to cruise all day long at anywhere from the mid 50s on up and uh, you know that's it, it's going to be a great boat it has the dual seating uh, so you'll be able to sit uh, seven people in in chairs and then your two uh, chairs in the back and, uh, and a mezzanine uh, it, it's just going to be phenomenal the lounge up front not only is it going to be a great fishing boat it's going to be a great family boat on the weekend to pile everybody on it and off you go. So it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful. Uh, we're excited. We're excited about how we did the release. My daughter, Caitlin, and I were sitting on the beach in, in uh, Ocean City, New Jersey, and we were talking out some things. And, uh, and I said, you know, we ought to do a big release. And we started talking and, about how to do it. And Lonnie Rutt, David Wilson, myself, down in R&D, and that all was three weeks ago. And then three weeks later, the marketing group uh, all put this together, crashed it out, put it together in a, in a quick deal. And, uh, and, you know, so where, and Caitlin, you know, she was, she's an intern this summer in, in the marketing group as she goes to St. Joe's. And uh, she went a month without a paycheck. I said, well, Kate, pay, interns don't get paychecks. <laughs> She was happy about that. Of course, she worked it out with HR. Welcome uh, to the club of the family time. business. But, I've been there. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But it was, um, it, it's just a great thing. And the nice thing is now Sean and Justin, uh, my two sons, uh, you know, basically they're working through the process and the design process and getting their input. But, you know, they're on the sales, marketing, production side. So now as this, these next we follow this boat down the production line over these next four or five months uh you'll be seeing a lot of them on a weekly weekly basis bringing to you the updates of how we're doing with our build process so it, it's exciting it's of course exciting well you know I, uh, john kaczynski our cfo uh, you know we're closing this model year out and this fiscal year out and he's already projecting next year's numbers and we're gonna he's projecting 89 valhallas for next year that's pretty cool that's pretty cool to accomplish so much and so little bit of time uh it just is a an absolute statement what this team can do and and they do it better than anybody in this industry uh, i'm that sure because i've been in this industry for 35 plus years, and not many people have been in this industry for that long. There's some boat builders left, but not many of us. I am a boat builder, and the nice thing is, you know, you walk around the boat shows, and I, oh, that's a boat builder. Well, a lot of people in this industry aren't boat builders, but I know the ones that are left. 
<laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, that video was incredible. I loved the ending with To Be Continued. It was so dramatic. I had show bumps. And for those of you watching that haven't seen this video, you can click the link at the bottom to watch the rest of it. So we are, we are so excited about it. And you know, this new model is just a testament to, again, Viking Yacht Company and Bahala Boat Works following through with their customers' requests and demands and listening to the customer, putting them first and giving them what they want. So that, that to me is what it's all about. Well, it's very important, you know, that, that our dealers, you know, you'd mentioned earlier how much our boat builders that we take care of them. Well, it's, it's down to your, your, you got three most important components in our business. And that is our boat builders that are out there every day building the boats, our customers, and of course our dealers. If all three of us stay on the same page, we can wreak havoc and set, set the bar higher each and every day. And that's what we do. That's amazing. And I, I love to being a family business as you are, how your sons motivated your team and the design of a hollow boat works. Sean and Justin put so much work into it. And I love talking with them and hearing their passion for the brand. So that's incredible. Absolutely. Absolutely. They're, bo they're boat builders. Exactly. You know, they're, they're, we're all going to be boat it's builders. It's in their DNA. What it, what it, listen, you, if you know how to build them, selling them, and all the rest of it all falls in the place. First, you got to build the very best. And that's what we do. We build the very best. Absolutely. Anything else that you have to add on the V46? Oh, I'm excited. Uh, I, I can't wait to see it. You know, I'll be over at Mullica tomorrow. The mold is being polished right now. We'll be in production within a couple weeks uh with it and uh they're clearing the the space now so we're very much involved in laying out where everything goes and and trying to make sure our processes our flow is right so that's all happening now and um just excited i you know i'm i love building boats i mean i wouldn't know what else to do and uh so every day it's easy to get up and go to work it's even after you've been fishing for three straight days it's you know you're dragging a little but off you go that's amazing. And we're so excited for its world premiere in January 2021 at the Viking VIP event. So we can't wait for that. Absolutely. There might be a sneak preview here and there before then, but uh, stay tuned. We're excited. And uh, uh, on the topic of staying tuned, is there any, you know, little tidbits you can give us about what's coming to the Viking line? Any hints? <laughs> stay tuned. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. We're, we're so excited. Well, thank you so much, Mr. Gilly, for your time. It's been an exciting week, and we're so looking forward to all that Viking is going to bring to the future of this industry. Now, we've had this conversation before, and if you call me Mr. Gilly again, we're going to have ourselves an issue. I'm so sorry. My family teaches me good manners, so it's a habit. Yeah, but we've been through this before. Just because you have a camera, don't have to get all light on me. You got it, Pat. Well, again, thank that you so much, Pat. Better. Thank you so much, Pat, Til for joining us. Till next time. Till next time. Thank Til you. Till next time. Have a great you day. Got it. We will now be joined by our Viking Yachts brand manager of Galati Yacht Seals, Michael Galati, on the docks of our Anna Maria location. Mike, thanks so much for joining us. Hi, Maria. Thank you for having me. For new Vikings immediately available, the factory just finished the 92 Skybridge, which is available in New Jersey. At the Viking Service Center in West Palm Beach, we have both motor yachts, the 93 and the 82 cockpit motor yacht with an open bridge. Sister ship is this beautiful boat next to me. Also in Palm Beach is an 80 enclosed bridge and a 46 billfish. Up in Destin, Florida, we have our 68 Viking stock boat, which has been touring the summer tournament circuit in the nor Northern Gulf. For Valhalla's, we have a V41 in build, finishing in September, a V37 immediately available in Costa Rica, and a V33 finishing in March of 2021. For any questions on this inventory, please contact us at one of our offices and we'll look forward to assisting you.
Thank you. Back to you, Maria. You can click the link at the bottom to learn more about these in-stock models that are available for immediate delivery or to get in touch with a Viking specialist. That wraps up our Viking episode. For those that tuned in a little late or want to share this episode with a friend, you can find it on our YouTube channel, on our social media channels, and on our website under the news section. Our shows air on the last Wednesday of every month. Our next episode will be Wednesday, August 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern with Prestige Yachts America. Once again, I'm your host, Maria Galati-Hill, and thank you so much for joining us on board with Team Galati.